Today on the channel, possibly the most biased review of all time as we unbox Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Lemmy! And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something extra special we've got the Lemmy Ultimate Edition figure from Super 7 but of course for all your Super 7 needs make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in-stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course you can also go to Super7.com hit them up and when you're checking out Put in code Kyle P to support the channel, of course. But man, the Lemmy Ultimate Edition, a figure I've always wanted in my collection. I've always wanted some really good articulated Lemmy figures. We've had a few. We've unboxed a few here on the channel. But this is a whole different ball game for musicians. Of course, Super 7 has brought us King Diamond. They have brought us Ghost. We do have Cliff coming very soon, of course. Metallica fame there. But man, oh man, you know the one I'm excited for. It is Lemmy, Motorhead, my favorite band of all time. I think I saw Motorhead about 28 times in my life. Always a great time. Of course, anything Motorhead related. I was on both Motorhead cruises. Just a lot of my life spent around the Motorhead universe. And something, I've said it before on the channel, a piece of me has kind of been gone ever since Lemmy passed away many years ago. I always knew there was a new album, a new live album, a new tour going on. There was always something to look forward to. There was always something going on. And just like that, it was over and done. And a, a piece of me has been gone in music. And music really hasn't been the same for me since then. I still enjoy my heavy metal. I still enjoy my music. Uh, but not as much as I did when Motorhead was a viable live thing that I could always look forward to. I could always count. And I'd always know, okay, I'm going to go to this show, this show, this show. It's all taken away just like that. So things like this is very exciting to bring back the passion, bring back the fun. So I'm very excited for this one. And I'm excited for any future Lemmy figures that are to come from Super 7. So, of course, you know we'll be talking about that when those days come and when those announcements come. But, of course, in this video, we're going to do it like all the other videos on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this one getting right at the end of the year. So, you know this might be on a best of list. Very possibly could. I can tell you right now, it'll be the number one musician figure of the year for me. I'm saying it right now. So, there you go. List over. But Motorhead logo, classic Snaggletooth, War Pig, whatever you want to call it, right there in the front. Very, very cool. A piece of art. And as you guys probably saw in my weekly purchases, I picked up three of these figures. I'm going to have all three of them side by side. The packaging for them. I'm going to display all the looks. But it'll look really cool with a wall of these in front of each other. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Shout out to Kyle over there at Super 7. I know he's a good heavy metal brother as well. He worked on this figure, and it was truly a labor of love for him. He's a good metal brother, like I said. Looking very good. You got Lemmy's name right there. Nothing fun here, but it's kind of that worn leather look, like No Remorse album back in the day with the leather cover. Classic Motorhead logo right there. Ultimate on the top. Some jibber-jabber down low, UPCs, things like that. Very, very cool. I'm here for that. Of course, slipcase just slides right off, just like all the other Super 7 stuff. You can give it the gentle off to the side. See you later. But there's old Lemmy in all his glory. It's just unfortunate Lemmy's no longer with us. How cool would it be to have this autograph by Lemmy? That would be something I would get done immediately. I'd call in every single favor I have to get that done. I'm not a big autograph guy, but a guy like Lemmy, I would definitely want on this one. Just absolutely beautiful. A lot of accessories in this. We're going to talk about all those. Lemmy down here, Motorhead logo once again. Love kind of the chain going around to frame out the packaging. Just beautiful all around here. Nothing too fun on the side, but on the back, everything louder than everything else. Of course, the war cry on many a Motorhead t-shirt, the back of the shirt as well. Just absolutely fabulous on that end. And of course, we're going to pull them out. We're going to see what all the true fuss is about. I do need to buy one more of these. I need to get one mint on card. I want three loose, one mint on card. I know I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. And we got the Lemmy amplifiers behind here. 
Uh, not quite the marshal that he used, but I'm sure that's all legal reasons for all that, but a very cool background. Of course, you can slip out. Well, you could cut out, I guess. It's, or, no, wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out, is it a slip out or is it part of the actual packaging? No, it's, no? Confusing myself. There we go. It can be pulled out right here, so that is very cool. Oh, I didn't, I missed that. You got the hammer back over there as well. So you do got a little amp stack going on. You can use this as part of a display. Very, very cool. So make note of that, no doubt about it. But gentle, once again, off to the side. See you later. And now we get old Lemmy himself. We get three heads. We get the mic stand. We get the hands. We get the bottle of Jack. We're going to ball the Jack right here. Just beautiful. All around beautiful. This is what I want out of my Super 7 figures, no doubt. But let's get him out of here, of course. Probably should have took it offline, but we'll, we'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out here. We're going to go with this microphone first is what we're going to do. If I can get it out. Once again, more tape going on. We got some of that strong tape. There we go. See you later. I should have put that off gentle to the side, but here it is. But we got the old microphone here looking very good. Of course, a lot of people are like, why is this microphone so weird? He had it really high and then arched down and then he would sing like that. Lemmy, of course, would always say in interviews that helped him uh, get all of his voice out. It helped him uh, project a little bit more singing up like that instead of singing down or singing straight ahead. That's how Lemmy did do it. Always looked so cool. It looked different and that was part of it. Beautiful mic stand here. You could easily use this with something else if you wanted to. Even got, I was going to say, do we got articulation? No, we do not. Uh, microphone is not removable as well. You do got the wire going on. But just dead on for old Lemmy, no doubt about it. Beautiful black mic and mic stand. Now we're going to pop these heads out. We're going to pop the old Rickenbacker out. Pop out that head. And get these hands out of here. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. There it is. The bottle of Jack. We'll talk about that in a second. And then it looks like Lemmy is locked in around the waist. That seems to be it. Can I get in there? Can I get in? Move the arm up. And bam. Lemmy is ready to go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the time is finally here. Here we are. Another gentle off to the side. See you later. But let's start with these hands for Lemmy. And then we'll dive into all the other accessories here. So we got a lot of hands going on. He's got... Two gripping hands over on this side, looking very, very good. What else do we got? Now we got uh, fists. Yes, we got two fists of fury. Love it. Love the fists of fury, and then I love all the rings. Lemmy always had the jewelry going on there, uh, looking very, very cool. Two fists of fury. If the chips are down, he's got a fight. Lemmy's ready to go. He's ready to throw down. I'm here for that. Two more gripping hands right here, of course rings all over the fingers once again so two gripping hands there and then we do get some specialized hands we do get another gripping hand with the up and down hinge looking good but now we get some specialized hands here we do get a right hand that does have a pick in it so it's of course to be his bass guitar playing hand looking good with the pick and then we get some very iconic lemmy hands you get the middle finger hand i am here for that and even kind of the small hand with the barely up like you know he's not straight up in the air with the middle finger i really like that and of course i'm opening three of these figures each one's going to have a personality of its own there's no doubt about it so that looks absolutely beautiful and then one you do not see in this day and age very often really few and far between last time i think it was maybe NECA gremlins a cigarette with an action figure of course this isn't really for kids not a lot of kids are going to be playing with this but a cigarette in hand and if you know lemmy especially back in the old days all the way to the end cigarette in one hand drink in the other hand that's how lemmy lived his life and i'll never forget the last time i saw lemmy about six seven weeks before he passed away i was on the motorhead cruise and i remember my wife and i we went back to our cabin for the night the music was done everything i got into bed laid down and i sat there and looked at the ceiling and i said you know what I don't know if I'm ever going to see Lemmy again. This is probably the last time I'm ever going to see him because his health had not been good. He'd had a lot of cancellations at the end. I was fortunate, fortunate enough to see him on land before he passed away. Down in St. Louis with Saxon, shout out. I think it was like at the pageant or something. I made that six-hour drive in a heartbeat when they said, hey, the show is on. Went down there. Then I had the boat cruise a couple weeks after that. But I sat in that hotel cab and I just knew that, you know, I don't think I'm going to see Lemmy again. I got to go see him one last time. And I knew he would be down there in the casino 
And sure enough, walked down to the casino, there he was with his bodyguard. And I just kind of stood by him, gave him a little nod and a high. You know, he didn't want to be bothered, didn't want to sit and talk or anything. He had a bodyguard with him, but I was just kind of in his presence. And that was enough for me at the time. And that was the last time I ever saw him alive as he died just a few, I guess, weeks, a month after that uh, in December, around this time actually, which is really crazy as well. And it is coming up on the anniversary of his birthday as well around this time. So very, very fun, very nostalgic for me whenever I talk Motorhead, think Motorhead. So story time with Kyle commenced, but now we turn our attention over here. We got a Motorhead Jack Daniels bottle. Of course, they probably couldn't use Jack Daniels, and I don't think anybody's going to fault them for that. Would it make the price of the figure jump? I think this works really good. And of course, Motorhead had their own whiskey, had their own wine, things like that. Beer, of course. So this is on brand here. So definitely have this with Lemmy. He's ready to ball the Jack, ready to get after it. Then we do get a Rickenbacker guitar. It does not say Rickenbacker anywhere on this. Once again, probably legal reasons for that, uh, but I'm okay with that. If it keeps the cost down where it is, I know what this is supposed to be. That's enough for me. Very, very iconic one here. Born to Lose, Out to Lunch, an iconic engraving on his guitar. Got the black strap here. Now, Lemmy's had a few different Rickenbacker basses, and we'll talk about that in a little bit here, but this is a very early one. This is very kind of Iron Fist era, early 80s era, late 70s era is what this Lemmy does represent, but I'm here for this bass guitar all day long. Now we're going to turn our attention to Lemmy and the two heads. So we got three heads for Lemmy here, looking absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, Super 7 does get a lot of... Uh, a lot of criticism, and rightfully so in a lot of them. Of course, you get some amazing head sculpts, amazing likenesses. I go back to Duke from the G.I. Joe line, and then you get some that just look a little bit rough. April O'Neil, we just recently unboxed on the channel. I wasn't feeling that head sculpt very much. But man, oh man, does this Lemmy one look good. And maybe it's because I'm an uber Lemmy fan. Uh, I, I really know my Lemmy looks, especially from this time frame. And like I said earlier, Kyle from Super 7 working on this. He's deep in the weeds on Lemmy as well, researching, making sure he got it just right. Because he knows he, he, he would hear about it if he didn't. Uh, but this does look really good. This is a great Lemmy head sculpt going on here. You got the kind of long, greasy hair parted in the middle. Looks just like Lemmy had back in the day. Of course, the iconic mustache gear from Lemmy. Uh, the beard-mustache combo. Very, very iconic, as we do know. Bright blue eyes on old Lemmy. Of course, he does have two eyes and a nose and a mouth like a human being. Uh, definitely looking good here, though. Very stoic, very plain Jane. No expression on Lemmy. And if you have multiple heads, you always need one head like that. And that's what we got right out of the package. Now we dive into some of these other heads right here. We're going to dive into this one. And I absolutely love this. I actually see this head. And it reminds me of that Foo Fighter video, White Limo, where Lemmy pulled up in the White Limo. <laughs> Crazy enough. Uh, it reminds me of that with his classic shades, the mirrored shades on him. Lemmy always had that. A little bit more personality in the mouth. The mouth is open on this one. Just an all-timer good look for Lemmy once again. Living that full-on rock and roll lifestyle right here is what's going on with that head. So I love that head. And then this head, you got a little bit of that windswept look. This just kind of looks like Lemmy letting his hair breathe and he's talking into the microphone, screaming into the microphone, doing that kind of thing. Mouth is open, kind of off to the side. He's singing. Looking nice. Same eye color. The two ears showing on this one here. You do got the uh, moles on Lemmy's face. The two ones on the on the side and then the one on the top that was later taken off. Once again, this is early Lemmy. I've heard comments out there. How come Lemmy didn't come with his top hat? How come he didn't come with that? Uh, how come he didn't come with this guitar? This is an early incarnation of Lemmy. We will, fingers crossed, get some of those other incarnations. And personally, make a Lemmy for every year. That's what I would do if I'm Super 7. But they're not going to listen to me on that. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get a more modern take on Lemmy. The one that seemingly most uh, casual fans remember of Lemmy. Uh, that's probably what we'll get next from Super 7. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but this is old school 80s. Like I said, late 70s, early 80s Lemmy is what this is representing. So a moment in time for him as well. But now we get down to the figure here. We get down to it. And let's start with that shirt. We got the cloth good, soft good shirt going on. Motorhead England, so iconic. Possibly one of the most iconic band t-shirts of all time. I own, I don't even know how many Motorhead shirts in my collection. You see them on this channel all the time. Today I'm wearing a little Lemmy one, wearing a little Motorhead jacket as well. I'm duked out in my Motorhead gear today, but I got so much in my closet of Motorhead. And this is by far the most iconic Motorhead logo of all time is what we got going on here. Motorhead England, an all-timer in the t-shirt department. And very easily, if you said the most iconic shirts of all time, you could easily put this, I think, in the top three. At least maybe I'm biased once again, but there's a lot of bands that have a lot of t-shirts, but when you talk about iconic shirts, I mean the Misfits, 
right up there at the top. That's very iconic. Uh, that ghost, of course, we know, the Motorhead one. You know, there's ACDC. People say, well, ACDC. Well, their logo's iconic, but is it a t-shirt that is iconic? So you got to take all that into play. But I don't think anybody could argue that it's a very iconic look, and it's beautiful to have this on the Lemmy figure, no doubt. Uh, now we got the tattoos on Lemmy on the arm, the very iconic one. Born to lose, live to win. A great quote. I've used it for a ton of years uh, in a lot of different things at work. But just think about that. You break it down. You're born to lose. You live to win. Just a very prophetic uh, right there for old Lemmy. But a very classic one. We're here for that. Clear as day. You can read it. Everything else. You do got the uh, other tattoo on his other forearm here. So we got accurate forearm tattoos. Color of the skin looks pretty good as Lemmy wasn't a guy to sit out in the sun unless he had some short, short, short shorts on. Uh, occasionally he would, uh, but this looks pretty spot on for skin tone color for Lemmy. Pretty pasty white, of course. The big old tight rock and roll metal trousers going on down to the iconic white boots. Absolutely cool right here. Love these white boots. The only thing I could really add to this is, and he wore it sometimes, but not all the time, so it's one of those things, a designer decision, but he did wear a jacket like this quite a lot around this time as well, so you could have put a denim jacket in here, and of course, maybe some leather, denim leather, brought us all together. You never know how that might go, but I'm okay with this, and of course, you can go to third-party companies and get a denim jacket. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a repaint. We'll get another re-release with denim jacket in the future. You never know what might come down the pike, uh, but I am definitely here for that. Now, this shirt is removable, but it might be some work to do. Uh, very interesting underneath Lemmy. Got some nice nice fur going on under here. He's got a nice hairy chest going there. Would have loved to have seen real fur. I always say it. Why not? Let's throw that real fur out there. Very happy to report no staining that I see of any kind on here, so shout out to Super 7. But to me, I'm not going to have Lemmy without his shirt. He's always going to have his shirt on for me. I don't know who would be displaying him without the shirt. Definitely not me. But you do have some attention to detail under the shirt. And it's most likely not going to be seen by anybody. I think that is pretty cool. And then the final thing on this Lemmy figure before we get to articulation, you got the Bandito, you got the Bullet Belt, a heavy metal, new wave of British heavy metal staple back there in the early 80s. You knew what team he was on just by his belt back in the day, an iconic belt, no doubt about it. And I've never owned a Bullet Belt in my life. I don't know if I can pull it off. Maybe I'll try one day. We'll see. Maybe in a couple of years. We'll see. We'll see. But fabulous, fabulous Lemmy here. Does uh, When I say it beats my expectation, I don't know. I had high expectations from the get-go on this. I would say this is right where I thought it was going to be. I absolutely do love this figure, no doubt about it. Very, very good. Feels very good. Feels great in hand. But let's walk through the articulation. Of course, head, side to side. Head going to be removable. Decent up and down on this, even with that long lemmy hair in the back. Arms go all the way around. Tight, squeaky joints, which is a good thing if you ask me. Arms do go up. Bicep cut on Lemmy, single jointed elbows, of course. You do get a little side to side on those elbows. Hands removable, back to forth, side to side once again. You do get a little hula hoop at the top, a little ab crunch action. You do get the waist side to side. Big old Lemmy splits right there, looking good. Of course, legs do go up. You do got the bend at the knee, side to side at the knee as well. Boots, a little back and forth, really not a whole lot to take home. A little bit of up and down, not a ton to take home there either. Looking very, very good. Of course, does have peg holes in his feet. Will he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the ringside stands. What do you know? Fits like a glove. He's ready to rock and roll. There's no doubt about it is old Lemmy right here. Absolutely do love this Lemmy figure. But of course I would as a Lemmy Uber fan. As I said from the top, the top of the video, this could be the most biased review of all time. But man, this one did nail it out of the park. I am very excited for the Cliff figure. I absolutely love Cliff Burton as well. Not as much as Lemmy, of course, but I do enjoy that. That will be a very cool figure to have in the collection. So look forward to that review in the future here. But I did grab another one from around the same time frame here. It is our old friend King Diamond. Of course, King Diamond and Lemmy knew each other. Not quite the same musical genres as we know, but both from Super 7. And this is definitely my favorite King Diamond figure Super 7 has released so far. Uh, we'll see what happens to King Diamond figures as we go forward as well. But very cool to get these two 80s greats of the metal scene. Two icons of music for me in my collection, especially Lemmy. So a very, very fun one to have here. And like I said, I bought three of these so far. I'm probably going to get another one. I'm all in on all the Lemmys. Keep the Lemmys coming. I will keep on buying. There's no doubt in my mind. So Lemmy, a must-have from where I sit. And as you guys know, 
I sit right here at this very table. So a must have for me. Shout out to Super 7 for a great figure right here today. But what say you guys and gals out there? Are you picking up Lemmy? Are you passing? You playing the long game? You playing the no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Always helps to thumbs up the videos on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got two YouTube channels going now. So make sure you subscribe to both of those. And of course, don't forget about Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it all over there in the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel and content like this. You can all support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the great Lemmy and Motorhead fans everywhere, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.